tell me? You're gonna tell me how to do the list? Eat a burger. You want, eat a burger. Put it to, you put ate, it to rest. Do it. So now we know. Daddy's at the law firm until eight hours, and Davey's watching XXX down in the fucking basement. Get that out of my face. But you punch a burger? I'm gonna throw it. Did you go to therapy? Yes. Yeah, we changed it. We're back up. Come on, Dude, you, got, you, got a lot, you got a lot of Bobby Knight in you. You got a lot of <laughs> Bobby Knight in you. We've seen him <laughs> two places. All right, back, 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 back on a Wednesday out of Chicago in the janitor's closet. Uh, I was on the road yesterday. I saw everybody being like, what's going on? Listen, we're doing stuff with Barstool, shooting stuff for the Barstool Invitational. Two weeks away, go get your tickets. Uh, Loyola against FAU, top 10 team in the country, Arizona State, Mississippi State, unbelievable stuff going on at the Barcelona Invitational right here in Chicago. Um, so how to make it work, did obviously the, you know, the pre-recorded stuff with Mincy. Mincy's still not necessarily uh, free to go to live programming just yet, so we're easing him back in. Happy to get the calls going. Football, baseball, uh, want to hear what's going on. How are you guys? Dukes, back off the DL Jet ski. We got Max coming up as a guest. How is the vibes in the room? Everybody good? We know that we're all committed to the show. I think the 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 commenters and the and the maniacs are being like, you're out, you're out. There's nothing I like better than doing this show. We're working things out. I'm a busy guy. I'm traveling. Like, what do you want me to do? Is everybody, do we still have the room? Is the room still together? We 100% still have the room. You have us. We're good. We, we, you all right. Awesome. For life. All right. We're back. All right. Roll it to the first quarter, please. Okay. All right. Story out of college football, Michigan's cheating allegations. This guy spent thousands and millions of dollars, shout out game time to go to uh, all these different uh, events, games, scouting. I know it's illegal, but my thing is basically this. If you wanted to do it, you could do it. Like you, you could pay somebody to go to those games anyway and do it. Like, what are we talking about? Change the, change the signals, figure it out. Like, the other part of it, I heard that the reason that they didn't do it or the reason it's illegal is that some of the uh, school's budgets can't necessarily go to all the games. Like, just scout it in person. We've been doing it for high school. Like, why can't we do it in college? You have enough of it on tape. Who cares? You also got to stop them when it really comes down to it. Like, I'm kind of pro-Michigan here. I don't really give a shit that it's illegal. I don't think it should be illegal. And all these sanctions and stuff like that are going to be bogus anyway. They're going to be like, oh, they're, you know, like take three scholarships away. You think they're holding Michigan out of being, if they're a playoff contender, like a big time program of helping the college football playoff? Absolutely not. They're going to keep Michigan in the discussion. None of these penalties are going to matter. Harbaugh might get four game suspension. He'll play Bowling Green, Hawaii, UNLV, and we're, and fucking Vanderbilt, whoever the fuck they play in the first four games. He'll be fine. Let him go. Like it's gamesmanship. It's scouting. Like you get stuff in person. I'm okay with it. I know it's illegal, but I really don't care. That's where I'm at. Like, figure it out. Change your signals. It's more on uh, the other teams. So, stop crying. That's where I'm at. Um, calls. Load them up. First call of the day. Michael, Connecticut. Mike, you're on. Rico. Yo. Mikey Bag of Donuts here. Long time, long time. Healthy What's debate. Up? There's not enough of healthy debate merch on the website. What are we doing? The riders want to ride. We, we want to make one shirt. shirt. We want we want one shirt that works. The jet ski shirt's doing pretty well. Working on some stuff maybe for Christmas or uh, down the road. We'll we'll get it all we'll get it all going. But right now, have one good one and keep it going. We don't want to overload you with five to seven different shirts and people buy ten of each. Let's load it up. One shirt, good design, great design. Shout out Triggs and get it going. So appreciate the support, Mikey, but healthy debate. If you have a lot of nothing or a, or a little bit of something, you don't have a lot of everything. We're trying to have a lot of everything with one big thing. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, load them up. See you, Mikey. Let's get DJ Belmar. You think he's related to DJs? Uh, I don't think so. DJ, you're on. 
What's up? Rico. Yo. I want to talk I want to talk bathroom attendance here with you. Can we do away with these guys? I mean, I'm all for creating jobs. You know, it's a tough economy out there, but I don't need somebody putting soap and water on my hands, handing me a paper towel and expecting me to leave them a tip for it. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, I, I, I just I, it's just uh, it's a little too much. I'm, I'm I've always been out on the bathroom attendance. I also like if it's your neighborhood bar, I could see you. You want to take care of the guy. You're going to be there every week. But uh, the like the clubs, the city, you're going to a club once or you're going out of town. They got a bathroom attendant. I'm never throwing money in that jar. I'm never going to see the guy again. They shove kind of shove it on you. It's like I'm out. I'm out on bathroom attendants. I agree. Everyone needs a job, but I'm out on bathroom attendants. Have them work. Put it, like we talked about the, the remotes or have them put more ice in, get two ball backs. We don't need the bathroom attendants. I kind of like bathroom security. Maybe if you have a guy in there, make sure nobody's fist fighting, you know, or shoving it up their nose. I don't hate that, but I don't know if we need a bathroom attendant. I'm all for that. I mean, you got these guys, and, and who cares cash these days? And then they point to the big QR codes that they got on the mirrors, expecting you to, you know, pull up the, the Venmo or the cash app. They look oh, like that's you wild. Heads when you don't leave them anything. I mean, what are we doing here? Cash or bust, cash or bust. The Venmo, that's wake out of control. I also think if you really wanted to, you could just show up to a bar with a setup of some stuff like in your pockets and uh, you could be the bathroom attendant. I think it's one of those things like no one would know. You're just there and that's after 100%. a while people, oh, 100%. So yeah, healthy debate, get rid of them. But... Then... Last thing, I mean, you're thinking if you're out of the bar, I mean, you're drinking, I don't know about you, Maybe I'm a small bladder guy here, but you know you got to go to the bathroom a little bit more frequently throughout the night. Or is it like an open bar situation? They want a twenty the first time you go in, or are you expected to drop this guy a single every time you go in there? Yeah, I almost think it's like Bronx Tale, like uh, you know uh, whoever that guy was, Louis uh, Louis Louis Dumps. Louis Dumps. He gives him twenty dollars. He's like twenty dollars. He's out of your life. I almost rather give the guy a ten in the beginning of the night, twenty in the beginning of the night. Be like, hey, just now, don't bother me. Here's your twenty. Don't bother me. I'm done. Let me piss in peace. It's a good call, though. Healthy, Next one. Whoa. Healthy debate. I also think that it's bathroom attendants, you only tip them if you take like a pack of gum or a mint from them, and you take something from them that you, that you need. Or if you're a drug guy, not me, but if you're a drug guy, we know some college basketball, whatever. We're not going to go into names. But if you're a drug guy, you got to tip the guy. Be like, I, I want to do something up, up in the... Uh, you're dumping sack. Yeah, if you're dumping sack, you, uh, you got to tip them. Right. Yeah, yeah. I was careful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's drug, get another drug. caller. Drug drug free since ninety three with these maniacs. Uh next one, please. Um let's get Patty, Brooklyn. Rico. What's up? Hey Rico, you were a healthy debate. You were a CYO kid, right, growing up? Yep. All right, so then what's with all the St. John's hate? I don't fucking get it. You talking Rick no. Pitino isn't going to turn this program around? Every time I hear you, it's six fucking year. Program. I didn't say he's not going to turn it around. I didn't say. I didn't. I did then. I did then say. I did then say. I. I did then say he's not going to turn it around. What I said was their facilities suck. I don't know if he's going to lock oh, in. with the fucking facilities. Listen. It doesn't matter. The coach makes the, all the difference. You know this. Rick Pitino's turned these programs around. Look I disagree. Look I disagree. I think, the, I think the coach has a big impact, and I think of the piece of pie, the fucking dudes make an impact as well. Go look at who won the championship. Listen. Why'd they win? Because they had three dudes on the floor. So no go, can Hawkins. You, can, you get with the team, can you get with the team and come in for the big win here? The CYOT boys are talking. They're like, what's up with Rico? He doesn't like St. John's. He's against he's uh, anti-Catholic. I got it now. Rick Pitino has done it consistently throughout his career. He's never not turned it around. Even Iona looked fucking great. And now he every had, time I listen to you, it's fucking St. John's is going down the shitter. I don't fucking understand it. Six all right. Years he had ahead. clue. He could, okay. He jumped. Okay. Next year, all right. All right. Can I speak? It's my fucking show. Right. He had, cl he had sure. closest players at Iona. I do not dislike St. John's. I think the Felipe U Lopez uniforms are some of the coolest in the world. I've been to St. John's games. It's the hometown team. I get it. That's right. Friends That's with right. the Mullen family. Friends with the Mullen family. Like St. John's. Have a St. John's throwback jersey. I get it. I totally get it. My point is he's giving himself a real short window here of six years because he's 70 years old. So if he doesn't win a title, I am not guaranteeing 
that the next guy will be able to maintain that because the program has not been good in 30 years. That's just a fact. The facilities stink. They haven't gotten big-time recruits. They haven't had success in the tournament. Uh, any kids now from 18, 17, 17, 18 years old have never seen St. John's be good. You're selling them on eight to ten games at the Garden where other programs have world-class facilities, NBA talent, like shit like that. He's got a six-year window. You're selling him on one of the best coaches that is, that is in the game right now, hands down, not even close. It's a local team where an entire five boroughs gets behind and supports it. The team is loaded with kids from Yonkers, Brooklyn, freaking Valley Stream. They got a ton of local kids. We got a ton of talent in the area. The team is good this year. I'm let me ask. All right, let me ask you this then. This is the question that all of you, St. John's. This is the Dukes, You got to drop him. He's gonna. We're trying to. It's trying to be healthy. Patty, Patty, talk to me. It's it's trying to be healthy. Yeah. All right. Trying to be healthy. One more word. I'm gonna drop you. Sorry about. Right, job. We're trying, I told him not to talk. We're, we're trying to be healthy. The question, I sh we should have kept him on. The question <laughs> I will ask is, that's how this show works. Who, who, who is the perfect, uh, not predecessor. Who is the perfect, what's that word? Not ancestor. Successor? Who's the next? Successor. 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 They you think they got me in the fucking closet. Who is the next successor at St. John's? Is it one of Patino's guys on the staff right now? Is it somebody else? Is it a New York guy? Like, I don't know. And I think in, I don't know if this is a job that a ton of people think is like made to go in New York. Healthy debate, healthy debate. There's a college basketball coach who's going through some rough times, comes to the Italian. Guy, to go to the, guy, just, go, please go, fucking stop. No, please I, fucking stop. I'm dead, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious when I say this. If you have Patino, you're rich Patino, or you go to the Patino, Patino, uh, Patino rehab and you come and you like get fixed. It, there's not bad options. You, it does. It's not necessarily like Patino. The job right now is great with like someone else coming in besides Patino, but Patino can make it a great job again. Healthy debate. He can definitely make it a great job, but are we guaranteed to get that guy and and see that success? Rich all the way through. You you out on Rich Patino, the the son? It could be the son. Yeah, it could be the son, but I don't think that's an immediate like. He hasn't lit the world on fire. So I get it. Listen, I fucking love, I'll tell you right now, I say it all the time, did Titus' show, I'll do anybody who wants to talk about it. I love that the center of the basketball universe is at 33rd and 7th. The world runs through the garden. Tyler Kolick, player of the year, Marquette, top 10, Providence, Georgetown. You're going to have to camp out for six weeks to get those tickets. Patino back, Creighton good, Xavier in the mix. Who else am I missing? UConn, defending national champions. That's like the sixth storyline that UConn's a defending national champion. I am excited. I'm glad the world runs through 33rd and 7th. Sign me up for the whole Big East. Give it to me. One more Next for you, Bosco. Thad yeah, Ma one more. Th Thad, yeah. Ma Thad Mata, Butler, redemption season. Yeah, they can get it back. We got some friends They're with like, Butler. One, one to nine is like pretty pretty tough and up for grabs in that like front six, five. All right, let's yeah. get – um. So, uh, go one more second quarter. Dio Buffalo. Hey, Rico, it's non-biased Dio. Uh, healthy debate. The Bills Mafia is the best fan base in all of sports. Yeah, you could be a good fan base, but your, your window is closing. You guys might be the San Diego Padres, the New York Mets, the New York Knicks in the 90s, uh, the Utah Jazz. Give me a bunch of different teams that got real close and were proclaimed as champions and never really did it. That's what I worry about with Buffalo. I think nothing would be better if Buffalo won a championship. It'd be great. Yeah, Watch that place go nuts. The the, okay, the fan base is great. Okay, if I got nothing to debate on the fan base, like, what do you you want me to just suck your dick on the fan right, base? I got you. Josh yeah, you're, you're a great fan. You're a great fan. You're a great fan. You're a great fan. You're right. I love you. I love you so much. I'll jump through this table. Like, what do you want me to do? Yes, you're a good fan base. But healthy debate, your team is in serious, serious trouble, and the window is fucking closing real quick. Not with Josh Allen. I mean, he's the best QB in the NFL, most talented. He, I'm not a numbers guy. I'm not a numbers guy, but talent, the eye test, he's most talented. I thought I, I thought Dukes was the drug guy on this program. <laughs> Please say that again. Please say uh, that again. Josh, uh, I'm not a numbers guy, but Josh Allen is the most talented QB in the NFL. He passes the yeah, eye test. He's the most talented. You're also not, not an eyes fan, guy, a no. common sense guy, and a fucking brain guy because Patrick Mahomes is still alive, pal. Get off the program. You're wasting time. 
They, I want to do healthy debates. Day? I will take people's opinions. I will like look at them, consider them. I think I've been pretty good of not being a dictator. But you want me to be a fucking dictator? I'll be a fucking dictator and stand up and be like, and just and that's it. I'll just start telling people they're gonna get killed. Uh, wait, that guy's. Up you're bad. Why is it? Why am I still talking to this guy? I have, I have, no, I didn't drop. I have him. I have him on the back end. Patrick Bosco. Mahomes. I have him on the back end right now. Bosco, healthy debate. Is Buffalo an actual good fan base, or do they just have fans who that are jumping through tables, tables and it's one big fraternity party of people no, that are 35 no, no, and still no, getting no, graduated? No, 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 no. They've never. No, they always turn out. They've been. They're they're loyal. Uh, generations of built. Like there's a pride with Bills fans. Like, even with the Commanders, I don't really know if, like, you know, I think, Vi like, teams who've suffered for a long time, I think you have that identity. Like, I respect the Jets, I respect the Bills, I respect the Vikings. Uh, you know the Patriots are knowledgeable fans. Like, almost every fan base I don't think is fake. I think Dallas gets a lot of bad rap because of, you know, what's going on there. But in all seriousness, like, this guy's on crack. Want me to get him back and on for a second? No, yeah, if he doesn't apologize, dump his ass. You're back on. Apologize for what? Telling you Josh? Done, 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 Second quarter. <laughs> Holy shit. Speaking of being a man of your word, okay, Chris Russo, the best, mad dog. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Maniac. Listen, grew up listening to him. Absolute legend. He's got to retire. If you're not familiar with what he's doing, he said, if the Phillies lose game six and seven, I will retire. He has to retire. Just all-time coward move. And now he's going to Stern and trying to weasel his way out. He's going to walk through the city. All-time coward move. You would never see me say I would retire from a program or retire my career. It, let's say it's like a trivia thing. You would never see me retire and then three months later, like, weasel my way back in. Well, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Roll the Russo video. He's a I've moron, been wrong but I love him. Day one. I, I, a, I'm stunned to beat Milwaukee. I thought they'd get swept by the Dodgers. I never thought they'd even go back to Philly for a game six. Uh, I'll, I'll try it one more time. I would not be stunned if they won tonight. I would be floored. floored. And I'll say this right now. Just to, I'll say this right now. And Bob Raceman, write it down. If they win the next two days, they win the next two games and win this series in seven games. If they win, I will I will retire on the spot. But then he didn't do it. No. So like I got a big beef here with with Mad Dog. He's the best. You all he has to do is take a one year leave. Like he'll come back. What does he think? People are not gonna like like him. He's gonna lose the juice. The minute he comes back, his reunion show is top of the charts. It'll be second in the ratings behind. This show, number one. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Mad Dog, he's a weasel. He's weaseling his way out. I don't love this move. Give me four. We're going halftime. And then I got a guy who just lost the LCS in the corner here. So we got a hell of a show. Four, please, second quarter. Bosco, really quick, just a quick update on Russo. Did you see that Don LaGreca, Pete Rosenberg, and Michael K took a stance on it, and now they're against it? I saw the tweet. I have not seen the video. It popped up at the top of my time. They, they went at Russo for not retiring, which I can respect because I was like on that side. But just so you know, I stand on Russo and Francesa. So now that I saw LaGreca's side, I'm back in on Russo. Russo, do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Well, K is the K. That's the other thing. K is the biggest fucking phony on the planet. He was in on the Mike and the Mad Dog documentary. He hates Francesa. He's gone at him. He's poured Diet Cokes out. And now he wants to like. So he's always looking to bury them. Yeah, so I, I, I fucking hate I'm out show. on Michael yeah. K. Michael K sucks. I'm out on Don LaCrocca, so me and you are in the same boat. All right, let's yeah, get... Yeah, K uh, sucks. Four, please. Andy Denver. Hey, Rico. What's up? Can you hear me? Healthy debates. Uh, you know, I'm hyped for college hoops. I know you are. Uh, healthy debate. The 2005 Fighting Illini are the best team to not win a championship in the last, we'll go 30 years. Uh, I think that's probably in the discussion of top five, but for me, it's 99 Duke. It's, um, 2015 Kentucky and it's right. 92, no, 91 UNLV off the top of my head. 99 All Duke right, was loaded. All right. Healthy debate. Uh, Illinois, uh, is better than that. 2015 uh, Kentucky team due to the fact that they have a better backcourt 
And healthy debate, you have to have a good backcourt to win in March. That's true every year. Yeah, uh, everybody says debate, that. Healthy debate, 99. Uh, 99 Duke. Oh, my God. This is a little bit before my time. I'm trying to think. Uh, who William had, Avery. Had, uh, I'll tell you right now. William uh, Avery. Uh, Elton, Elton Brand. Will- William Avery, Elton Brand, Corey Maggette, Shane Battier, uh, Trajan Langdon. Uh, maybe Maggette was not year. on that team. They lost to UConn, I but it was – Maggette was one and done. So maybe Maggette was 2001. But it was definitely William Avery, Trajan Langdon, um, Battier, uh, Elton Brand, and who else did I say? Chris Carrowell? No, he was 01. They had another guy. I just said it, but – uh, loaded team. But, yeah, for my money, that's where it's at. Give me the next one. Uh, you revealed yourself. You didn't say 2020 Dayton. Oh, 2021 Gonzaga <laughs> with Jalen Suggs. We're forgetting about that. That team. was a good team. Yeah, it's a good team, team too. Yeah. Um, Coop, Long Island. What's up, Rico? Healthy debate. If you cannot root against your enemies with the same energy that you root for your teams, there's no point in sports. This is why we ride. And Max should have already been on for a healthy debate. This is ridiculous. That- all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. It, I, it, I put him at this certain time. We, I was been away for a little while. We want to get the call guys going. We'll get him in the third quarter. It's not when it's not Max's fault on that. Max is, has a lot of problems. And okay, in Max's it. defense, I'm I'm driving. I'm not watching. So if he's right, there, fair I enough, apologize. Fair enough. He's here. He's here. We're getting him on. Uh, yeah, but it's. I agree with you. The fun of it is rooting against. Like I've, I said it all the time. I've hate watched more Yankee playoff games than I've watched Mets meaningful games. And you root against them, but it makes you feel soft, it, like you're missing I, something. So I, I for get the Mets it, and I showed up. I showed up in a Padres jersey for three days last year for every. Yeah, but it's game. not the same. It's not the same. You want to root for your team. You want to root for your team. So. Oh, of course. And I went to my Yankee playoff games when the Mets weren't playing. Yeah, it's a good call. It's a good call, but it's not the same. You want your. T- it's better when your team's in it. Next one, Brad, Ohio. Rico, healthy debate. If you could have any five liquids dispensed out of your five fingers at any time, what are you choosing? All right. We're going with – you got to I, – I think I've done this before in a variation. We're going McDonald's fountain Coca-Cola, water for the straight just survival rate, uh, lemon high noon, Arizona iced tea, and mm, what about like a pepper spray you know what you know what since it dropped today orange high tangerine high noon there you go double up the high noon no gasoline. great question what no gasoline no gasoline oh, sh- shit that's a good one healthy debate great you got me point for the call is knock me down still undefeated Next one. Honorable mention, body armor. Uh, we got Ian. Oh, I got an idea, actually. You know what I would do? If you you could put if you could just piss out of your finger, it's a lot easier. <laughs> no, no. Did you have that thing problem? Bro, you have that thing with problem pissing out of your dick. Bro, you know how many clubs you know how many clubs I've been waiting in line like this, like fucking like walking, like waiting? Like if I could just imagine if you could just piss like this. Your cup, you take a bottle with it, like piss coming out of your finger. Yeah, but then you're the guy that can piss out of your finger at the bar. Nobody wants to like. Or the, everyone. Wants yeah, but you go home with a girl. You gotta go home with a girl in your early twenties before, because we know you're hitched now. But like, go home with a girl in your early twenties. You're like, oh my god, I got piss boy. <laughs> piss boy's trying to go home with me. Grab my thigh. No, you don't tell them. It's not like a bar trick. Whatever. Give me the next one. I want to get Max on this show. Uh let's see. Jay, Atlanta. Rico, healthy debate. The best college basketball coach in Alabama is Bruce Pearl. Uh, Bruce is a friend. Bruce is a friend. A lot of success. I wish all the teams in Alabama success. I hope they get to the national championship. You want that? That's what I hope. You know what else? I hope the whole Final Four, I got all my friends, but put Andy Kennedy in there as well. So give me Danny Sprinkle in Utah. Go well, honestly, I thought I was going to be able to get you with the Jewish joke there about not supporting them during this time of trial, but you, you actually passed with I Bosco, got too many so. friends, bro. I point, got too many for, friends. Point for Bosco. Yeah. Too many All friends. Right, too debate. many friends. Also, shout out South Alabama. They sent a nice package, so we shout out South Alabama as well. Shout out uh, Arkansas State. Four star. Four star. The shark is working. Uh, give me the last one. We're going to halftime. Liam, Connecticut. 
Yo, it's actually Sam, idiot. Uh, <laughs> Shut the <laughs> fuck up, Liam. I just got back. Oh, that guy. We'll, we'll get. You know Dude's what? We'll get sick. Some, He's uh, playing hurt. All right, give him a give him a, give him his time. Give him his time. Ian, Arizona. Hey, Bosco. Last time, first time, born a writer, big brick by brick, healthy debate. Our Philly fans soft, leave early game six, crowd silenced game seven, down two runs. Got to sing a song for Stott to get him up. Got to cheer on Turner, an ovation to get him running. What happened to batteries? Where's the ruthless attitude? Yeah, Destructive they, sentimentism. It's a wrap. Maybe they say it. Maybe, maybe Philly's lost its spunk. We'll get to it. I think that's a perfect segue. Halftime, please. Celery smells strong. You smell strong. Can you smell celery? Definitely. No. I can't smell it at all. I don't think it has a That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, close your eyes. No, close your eyes. Close. 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 What's he got? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was the easiest. Rico, he just what's he doing? So he put a yeah. carrot in front of you. He said nothing. He put oh, I didn't know he did anything. He said nothing. Yeah, I'm getting smell. smell. Right, right. You couldn't smell. Well, I wasn't really. Well, celery smell long. It was right you were breathing. here. It was in your nose. There's nothing to smell. Oh yeah, now. Down to the from there too. I always thought celery had a strong smell. <laughs> I'm like, wrong, wrong, wrong. It does. Now it. Uh. -huh. Hey, what's the loss of smell? No, no, I'm not saying that. It's from just, there to there, it lost the smell. You don't think celery has a smell? No. Dude, you you said you smelled it from over here. I literally put it yeah, under your nose. Happens. All right. Here with NLCS runner-up, super fan, super angry fan, uh, Max. First off, let's discuss healthy debate. People cannot time travel. No one dodged you last night. You just can't simply make a five-hour flight in an hour and a half. This is an argument that you're having with the wrong man. Okay. This is, and you know, uh, and you, it did seem like you jumped on. He's a well, coward. You're doing maybe some. Yeah. Doing a little, like, yeah a yes. Little, yes. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon. But you know that gripe is not with me. That's okay. with another. So man. healthy debate. The point though is that I cannot time travel. Yeah. No. It, it's just very convenient timing. True, very convenient true timing. True that I'm not. I'm not in depression mode. I'm not. You know. Uh, being run out of the company. I'm back in the mix, and they're asking me to do it's, stuff. It's like it's just very convenient timing is all. It's all. I'm here today. You were you were you weren't here last night. True or false? True or false? We streamed the same amount of games in the first four games of the series. What? Well, I don't even. I know streamed the... game one. You streamed I'm not game even... three. Out I'm of not four even games, it was that. one one. I'm not even talking about that. It's I'm not like about... you're... Okay. there. One person was invited to come to one stream, and they came. The other person did not. Right. The other person was working. Yeah. All right. It's fine. You don't believe in time travel. We got it. You're a time travel guy. Big conspiracy. All right. All right. Fine. All right. Healthy debate. The way this whole thing started, people like you turtle and this and that. You started this. Correct. I started this game you one. You thought you game had. One, game one is a healthy jab to a, to a man who is going through healthy debates, doing a little bit of friendliness, being like, I'm going to beat the shit out of your guy today, even though I know that you don't really care about it. I realistically, care for my guy. Realistically, you don't give a fuck about whether Zach, like, you will go to sleep with Zach Allen getting his shit absolutely pumped every <laughs> single night and sleep like a baby because you don't care. So I, I didn't think it was going to do ride your nerve. for my guys. I absolutely yeah. do ride for yes, my guys. You ride for your guys, but at the end of the day, you're not you're not going to stand up for until four o'clock in the morning last night because you're just going through a depression of your team just always. I'll losing. tell you this: if the Diamondbacks lost in any way or fashion, I would have slept like yeah. a baby. But healthy debate. You're so dumb that you started this fight and now put me in the ring. Oh, no, yeah, I and did. And you I thought did. you were just going to headlock me. And the next thing you know, I got you to the body because not only do I get to sleep when they win or lose, well, do I get to sleep easy when they lose, I get to dunk on you when they win. Yeah, no, it was so a you, lose, lose you for me. You thought you out alphaed me and came into my ring and I fucking dunked on no, you. No, yeah, you I started it and I finished I it. I brought you it's in. That's I brought you in and you won. You won, you, won the, you won the series, although. The only person that you care about in this series 
played horrifically. Yeah, well, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad I can't you hear. I can't that up. hear the headphones. Oh wait, where's it? Nobody's talking. Oh, okay, I'm okay, glad okay, you brought okay, that. Okay. I'm glad you brought that. I Calm thought, down. You looked at the, you looked at them. You're I gonna play. You play a nice round of golf something. today. All right. You and Bryce Harper. Yeah, you and yeah, Schwabuck yeah. lift some weights. Um, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. You lost four games. Correct. Okay. Two of them at the end in your home ballpark. Correct. The bank. The grease in the poles. The singing the songs. The maniacs. You ran out of juice. You ran out of juice. Some would say. That not only did the Diamondbacks win those two games at home when you had an opportunity to close out, okay, this which you shouldn't have lost. What I would say is that the best pitcher on the planet, who I love, contributed nothing to this series, and the Diamondbacks still found a way to win. Yeah, that so is that is correct. Should have been like done in five games, maybe. I mean, Zach Allen. How can you say he's the best pitcher on the planet? He's the best. Who's left? The Grom hurt. Scherzer, I guess. Gash. Oh, who, who, the, the best pitcher ass. left. Who, left. No, who's the best pitcher on the planet? I mean, the, the rookie Brandon Fott yeah, looked okay. like he. Hey, I, we said it from the get go. I remember everyone jumping on the pile, being like, "You don't like the Diamondbacks." Hot ice. We've been back, back in Merrill Kelly. We've been back in Zach Allen. Zach Allen, barstool friend, like came in the office. What do you want me to do? But some would say that the Phillies actually got waxed in this series. I know it went seven. That <laughs> I would okay. say if you <laughs> healthy debate. The guy. It's it's tough. To, for me to like when people are coming at us being like Philly was the better team I don't think you were the better team if 100%. the ace on the planet did not contribute anything I what does that mean he like what he got, you how you, you're not supposed you to say win those that games. you say they got you what Zach wheel he was going up against Zach wheel who was Wheeler's actually a cast off met who is he's a cast off he, met we yes, have no use for yes him, and we dumped him down the turnpike and he has the back wheeler is a is, is a elevated three it's just because your fucking rotation stinks you put him at a one you're putting the you're putting the I hate to use this he word has, female he, listeners close your ears you're putting the pussy on a pedestal he you're hasn't had value in Zach Wheeler he hasn't had a game in the postseason over three the runs last ace you had ever fucking Cole Hazard. ever you guys don't know good pitching Zach Wheeler that's your problem is, is and that's why you don't respect Zach Allen and that's why he's in okay the I I don't know why I'm getting not. worked up I don't know why I'm getting worked up because he I can he, he doesn't believe what yes, he's I saying do. right Zach now. Wheeler was a cast he doesn't know what he's of all the Mets I'll give you the Mets rotation it was Harvey the Grom. Syndergaard, Mats, then Wheeler. Wheeler was our last option. Now, some that's say true. Debate I would, I would Mets, much rather have Harvey the Mets, these days than than Zach Wheeler. Hundred percent. Evaluate talent. That's why we cast off Harvey. But he, I'm sorry, uh, Wheeler. But either way, you guys are excited for him. So yeah. Healthy debate. You're taking cast offs from New York. Yeah. Just yep. like healthy debate, you're taking other people's songs. That that is true. That is true. You're just a beaten man. I really expected more fight. I, this is a pathetic what are you? Display. Yes, you you brought in a man this who had a, already lost. Is, you're supposed to you brought in a, you brought in a man for a debate who had this already a lost. Display. What a brave, brave I'm man you are, Rico. You finished. brought in. <laughs> I just finished it. I just finished it. That's this is assault. A knockout blow. You're done. I really expected you to defend the city of brotherly love. Max, healthy debate. We love you. Always welcome. By the way, come here, come here, come here. No, we'll save you one last one. One last one. Do you want to come? Always on? welcome. Always welcome is not correct. We will say always you. welcome. Oh, always welcome is not is not an accurate statement. Why? What did we not? <laughs> I mean, always welcome. What do you mean? We're acting like that that I didn't get bumped from this program oh, about yeah, for, uh, for, for you want to look in Jeff's uh, no. eyes and take the yeah, money. Yeah, out no, no, no. Of very happy to do that. The boss texted me. I'm coming on. About that. There was because a bumping you make of the three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars <laughs> as a producer. He can't get a thirty thousand dollar raise. Hey, listen, I would have loved. I would have loved to come in and and try and help those numbers. Between me and the cameras are off. You think that part of my take thing's gonna work out? You wanna come work? Yeah, he's, he's been trying to poach everyone for part of my take today. Well, hey, he could do he could do social. We'll have him do. Uh, we'll have him. Whoa! Whoa! Asshole! 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 This guy stood on his one tree yesterday. Assholes. Assholes. Assholes! Additional social. He will work for Phil. Relax. You make me lose the locker room. Come here. We have a, a standing. Come here. We also, Max, you are always welcome. We are saving a spot for you. Are you ready? All right, all right. When Villanova loses in the first weekend, and then when the Sixers lose in the second round of the playoffs, you are more than welcome to come what back. What about when the Eagles lose in the NFC Championship? Because that's where all my, my teams are just going to lose in horrific fashions at every time. I'm rooting for the Eagles to lose in the Super Bowl, so I will not root for them to lose in the AFC championship, NFC Championship. Okay, I don't know why. I'll, I'll learn that later. I would like to see Taylor. I think it would be even more painful if Taylor's doing her handshakes, a Philly girl, and dumps back. Okay, so got again, it. You got have it. Got three it. Invitations. We're looking forward to it. All right. What's Nova like? Fifth in the Big East this year? 
Uh, pr- fourth. Fourth. Oof, that's tough. All right, you defended yourself pretty good, but, you know, thanks, Max. Great show. I mean, another, just another, another, another fucking W for the Bosco. Fourth quarter. All right. Split screen me here real quick. All right. When I'm working, I need I need my guys to give me a little freedom. Like I know, but the freedom was like don't be throwing jump, us to don't the be side. Ju- throwing you to the side. He's gonna work for Phil. That wasn't established right off the bat. It seemed like you wanted to swap real quick. Because because you jumped in, bro. You jumped in, you jumped down my throat. Like I don't get a little freedom. I haven't I haven't right. we haven't built this. It's your show. I don't look out for my guys. Do you have any idea the stuff he'd be doing for Phil? Dates on Saturday nights, getting them coffee, I'd have them wiping toilets. We'd get him in with this big surprise, and I'd just make him a fucking... Phil's not hurt. here anymore. Phil, Phil got squeezed out. He's out. <laughs> Phil's out. He's out. out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He, Crying he, tears he, of milk. He, knows the, he got physically squeezed out. Phil, I tried to get you an assistant for the record. All right, give me... <laughs> Should we hit that, uh, that, that read, make this money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that read. Let's get that read. All right, here we go. Hello, Fresh. A crazy schedule. You know we all got crazy schedules. Can make it easy to fall back into your dinnertime recipe rut. Keep mealtime exciting with over 40 recipes to choose from every week. So there's always something delicious to discover with HelloFresh. With so many in-season ingredients, you'll taste all the freshness of fall in every bite of HelloFresh's uh, chef-crafted recipes. Produce travel from the uh, Produce travels from the farm to your door for peak ripeness you can taste. HelloFresh does all the shopping and meal planning for you. Ingredients arrive at your doorstep pre-portioned and ready to cook along with your uh, pictured step-by-step recipe cards. How easy is that? Even though the fall can feel jam-packed, HelloFresh makes whipping up a home-cooked dinner actually doable with quick and easy options, including their 15-minute meals. That's less time than it takes to get delivery, and with everything pre-portioned and delivered right to your door every week, it really is a no-brainer. Turn to HelloFresh market for yummy add-ons and enjoy the season's limited-time fall flavors lineup. Feast on desserts like the apple cider cake with caramel soft uh, sauce or, ple- or please a crowd with appetizers like barbecue pulled pork nachos and don't forget mini pumpkin cheesecake. Perfect for a me time treat. Um, go to HelloFresh 50 Rico and, uh, and use code 50 Rico for 50% off plus free shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com backslash 50 Rico and use code 50 Rico to get 50% off plus free shipping. Let me tell you something. No bullshit. The last three days I had the onion crusted chicken, the Szechuan pork, uh, with, I had another one with mashed potatoes, string beans. It's giving you the perfect portions. It's making you eat correctly. It's tasty. Teaches you how to cook. HelloFresh is unbelievable. 50% off and free shipping is stealing, stealing. Go to HelloFresh, tag us in it. Um, and and enjoy it. Hello Fresh, thank you very much. Give me five to end it. We've been running long. We had a guest. We were dunking on people, absolutely smashing them. Uh, give me five strong. Oh, you know what? It's like six. 330, 438. Yeah, give me six, and then we'll figure it out. Six, and you six. can make chilies at the uh, Chicago airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. You act like I don't. Whoa. <laughs> you're big chill- you're chilly you like dipping- guy. it is it's a it's a highlight of my week it's a highlight of my week but you act like i'm dipping out it's a great show no no, no i didn't mean like that i meant more we'll get you out of here what's the chat saying can we get l maxes in the chat please haven't haven't seen any uh max l's in the chat I see a lot of date national championships they were saying phones L-Max. rigged a lot and i don't know what that means but phones are not well, rigged they think that we I got know. like they think i rigged the phones we got a lot of calls we got a lot of calls that's it's a good show to call in call in Calling early. You got to keep online. calling, 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 calling. Call Load them up. Give me the six. They've been waiting a long time. Nick, Canada. Rico, how you doing, buddy? Nick from Canada here. <laughs> Healthy debate. The all-time greatest athlete, not Michael Jordan, not Wayne Gretzky, but the $52 million backup quarterback, my man, Chase Daniels. Healthy debate, greatest athlete to ever live. Thoughts? Chelsea, Chase Daniel, friend of the program, doing some stuff with uh, Barstool Chicago, mid-show. We like Chase Daniel. Backup quarterbacks collecting the dough. We don't hate it. Chase Daniel, next time you see me, uh, come on the show. More than welcome. We'll debate some stuff. Yeah, Chase Daniel, good call. Good call, good guy, good guy. Go Mizzou. Jake Lafosky, if you're watching, you dunk on me every time I bet against Mizzou. Go Mizzou. Next one. Liam, Connecticut. Oh, this guy? Oh, you, you got, you. Again. All right. <laughs> Just go. Come on. You don't want to be. You don't want to. Come on. 
Go ahead. No, nah, no, nah, it's, it's good. It's good. I don't want to get hung up again. So, listen, Rico, healthy debate. Cooper flag to UConn. I, I need the power broker to push this through because we can't be sending them to those scumbag losers over at Duke. That video this weekend made me cringe That's so tough. hard. I blogged Please, it. We it, need was, it. We it was need tough. It. It's a tough look. It's a tough look. I personally think that basketball-wise, Connecticut's def- obviously a defending champ. Hurley's not going anywhere. I think basketball-wise, it might make the most sense for him at UConn. But the well, fame... Well, might tell you that, that Hurley's not going anywhere. You're right. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good point. Uh, but the, the fame and the NIL and, like, you know, being a legend, I could see how it makes sense for Duke, dude. It's like anytime free agency, like how do you turn away the Yankees? You know, like it's just, or, or certain things, it, it matters. Like how do you, when they get you in the room and you're looking at all these guys and years and years of greatness at Duke and the coach is not some guy they brought in from somewhere else who took out over for Shashevsky. It was a guy who has literal wisdom of Shashevsky and playing for him. Like I get it. I get it. I think personally it should be UConn. Okay, good. But how many times has UConn got to win to become the Yankees? I mean, this is is getting ridiculous now. I respect it. Yeah, I think they have a little bit of it. Listen, the Big East is a great conference, but, um, you know, the ACC, you know who you're banging heads with. The Big East, there is a little bit more turnover. UConn has been, for the most part, at the top of that conference. Um, Plus, he's from Maine, would have a lot of friends. I think it should be UConn. I think the decision's coming very soon, sooner than we expect, um, from what I'm hearing. But I, I think it's gonna. I think it could be UConn. But I see both sides, and I get why. If it is Duke, that's kind of how it goes. So we'll see. But yeah, yeah it's crazy. Thanks, what's what's the other crazy thing is, and respect to Kansas, but Kansas being a distant third, like won a national championship a couple of years ago. Uh, they're a you know a number one seed almost every year crazy that kansas was like distant distant in that but i guess it makes more sense if you're choosing between three things or choosing between two things a little bit easier to choose between two uh you don't have you know too many options on the table you can make a case for all of them and you just really get fucked up so um give me another one duke seems like the academic choice by and connecticut seems like the like staying home new england school type choice right yeah i mean i think he's gonna be one and done yeah the other thing you have to consider with this kid and he's unbelievable but the thing you have to consider is he's barely going to be 18. He reclassed for a year. So, like, he's not necessarily Zion's body. Like, so it's an interesting kind of setup man. with him. He's good. He's, he's definitely a grown up. man. Yeah, he's definitely a grown man. But he is young. He's young. He's not He's not a, a sure. full man. So that's all I'm saying. But, yeah, he's unbelievable. So either way, we'll see how it goes. Uh, load him up. Fran, Boston. Hey, healthy debate, Rico. Big fan here. Just a uh, quick question. When is it appropriate, if ever, to correct someone's form at the gym? You know, you see someone squatting and never, put their back. Never, you tell them never. that's never appropriate to tell anyone. Okay. Like never. That's why I hate it. If you notice, you notice a little, like, uh, gut here. That's why, I, like, the gym was not for me. The guys with the big jug of water and they come over and, like, bro, you do it like this. Like, you know, like, oh, you want to go? Like, it's like, guy, leave me the fuck alone. Like I, I just want to do just now. I'm, I just want to lose weight. I want to do cardio. Um, I wish I could just take a pill and, and be jacked. I know there is a thing for that. I'm not doing that. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, the hardos at the gym, and you know the guy taking the pictures of himself in the glass. Like the culture of the gym, not for me. Not for me. Don't correct my phone. Right. Leave me alone. All right. Thanks, Rico. All right. Uh, next one. JP, Texas. Hey, Rico, Jetski, dude, love you guys. Look, I called in Monday, Astros. You know, two presidencies. I've been a rider, Bosco. Two presidencies. You were MIA yesterday. Where were you, bud? I was in Arizona State. I was at Arizona State filming something for the Boston Invitational. Go get your tickets two weeks from today, I think. Two weeks from today. Go get your tickets. But, yeah. And I quote. And I quote, relax, I'm not that cold. I got the Astros. No, you don't got it. No, you don't got it, Bosco. Tell me, Listen. how did – you're like you're worse than the Kardashians than Drake. <laughs> when you pick a team. Uh, I think I picked the Diamondbacks. They're doing okay. Fuck. This guy. 
Uh, what do you want me to say, pal? You you got shelled. You didn't show up. You I lost six you, and seven at home. It's not because I picked shelled. it. You talked about getting shelled. I told you to take the Rangers. The Tell bull still hasn't landed. His name's not Rico Bosco. It's dead wrong, Bosco. Anything else? You got it all Have out? Right you feel there. good? <laughs> all right, good. That's what we want. I mean, it's... I could just see this guy. He's in a lunch break room in some fucking middle America. Like, he probably, he, he, who knows what that guy does. But I, I need to know what these guys do. Maniacs. Didn't but we you, love it. We love the maniacs. Didn't you win back-to-back -back national championships with Kansas I and UConn? I have one back-to-back. Yeah. Yeah. I have one back-to-back -back national championships. I also had a World Series with the Houston Astros last year. So if that guy listened, he cashed a plus 340 ticket because I told you the Astros are never going to be a 3-1 to -one dog in any series. So relax, pal. Uh, next one. Rob Mass. Rico, what's up, brother? What's up? Uh, regular nine to five job. What is the more elite day to take off, or days, I should say? Is it the day after the Super Bowl, or is it the first two days of March Madness? Whew. Uh, depends on the setting that you work in, but I think it's the first two days of the tournament. Easy. Here's why. The, the Super Bowl ends at like 10, 11 o'clock. That's like the normal time you would go to bed. Plus, there's a lot of distractions on that Monday. Like in the office, people are probably like talking about all the, you know, all the losers are talking about commercials. Anybody but with a pulse who knows football is talking about the game. Uh, somebody hits a box. Maybe they buy lunch. I think it's a good day to be in the office. I'll always take two, the two days of the tournament. And if you can't take the two days of the tournament, what you do is go at least go you go half day Thursday off Friday because you can you can finagle missing the 12 and two o'clock starts or like whatever you, you're in traffic on the way home you get home at two o'clock you miss the one game and you're good to go Thursday night into Friday so this way you only burn like a day and a half instead of two full days fair enough and and like you said I'm trying to dodge the people that don't watch football year round that are talking about the commercials and and all that shit. I'm trying to dodge that. On top of that, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning for work, so going to bed at 10.30 is a little rough. That's tough. Yeah, I got it. So maybe you're a Super Bowl guy. Maybe you're a Super Bowl guy. Fair enough. Thanks. All right, I like it. I, right, also, uh, I think with, ahead, the Super, with Super Bowl Monday, too, it's when your team also wins it, you would think, like, all right, take the next day off. But no, that's not the move. You save that day off for the parade because yeah, the yeah, parade's yeah. more fun than the day off. Yeah, Dukes. That's Dukes' healthy game, uh, healthy debate, gam, uh, brag, healthy brag, humble brag, that he's been to <laughs> six parades. So we got it. You've been to six parades. Would have been seven if Dayton didn't have the Joey B virus. Right. No, that's we facts. Got, we got it. We yeah. got it, Dukes. Yeah. We got it. We got it. You also have Celtics and Bruins and Red Sox. Dayton, we got it. We got the parade route. We, we got the parade route for Dayton all ready to go, Bosco. We'll hope we to see you We got it. You, you win, Power we broker. lose. Yeah. Finish them out. Finish them out who's ever on hold. Great Run job, Dave, How many we got? How many we got? We done? One. Do you one, want him or no? One. Yeah, be good. Good All right. call. E if it's good not call. good, I'll get a new one. Easy money, Toronto. It's going to be good, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm making sure it's going to be right. good. All right. Rico. What's up? We got the easy money mo from Toronto three-team parlay. I'm going to hit you with three things presented by HelloFresh. Okay, I like that. I like how you're just on the ad team. I like that. Go ahead. Promo code Rico. Yeah. Drop it. Drop Rico 50. 50. Drop it. Rico 50. 50. 50. Rico. 50. 50. 50. Rico. Get, it, get it going, guys. Get it going. All right. All right. Number one, first, team, first leg. Mint chip ice cream is for scout losers. Okay. Anyone eating mint chip, loser. 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 Should I move on? Yes, move on. Yes. Continue. <laughs> move on. Okay. Number two. Daylight savings, absolute worst program ever made. Uh, yeah, I, daylight savings is a scam. Max doesn't believe in time travel. You don't believe in daylight savings. I love it. Uh, what's Thanks. somehow? I, I I need to know the book of where I can place this bet. But I, I, give me a hockey game. You got an actual pick, or you just go ahead. No, no, man. It's, okay. it's, it's okay. my segment. It's it's I three team it. parlay okay. presented by Hello Fresh Pro oh, Code Fifty okay. Rico. All right. Right. All right, what's Lot the last one? one? Anyone that says finance instead of finance, loser. <laughs> I don't think I've ever even heard that. You're hanging with some wild what? phonetic finance? people. Finance? I've never heard that. 
finance. Everybody, people say finance, losers. I think I might it's start finance. saying that. See who I could piss off. I might do that. All right, I'll give I you like a bonus. That. I'll give you a bonus. Nachos overrated. I think I think nachos are yummy. Twenty bucks for nachos. I can't afford that. Yeah, if they get too soupy, the problem is they get too soupy. You need a fresh thing of chips Oops. to the side. But yep. uh, luckily for us, the Hello Fresh nachos. They do not get soupy. They work great. No, nope. shout out Hello Fresh. So that's Those a good are the way best to end. Nachos it. I've ever had. Yeah, there the you go. So nachos we'll, I've uh, ever had. Got it. Because so we'll go it's cash promo that. code fifty Rico presented by Hello Fresh Easy Money Mo three team parlay healthy debate. Nobody knows the rules. I got it. Thank you. We are in a janitor's closet. We're in a rubber room. This is a hell of a program. Jetski, please give me the uh, two minute drill. The two minute drill, please. All right. All right. Take it easy, boy. Oh, he's still All right. Man. All right, <clears throat> two minutes, Joe. What's up? All right, what's your NBA Finals prediction? Uh, Warriors, Celtics. Rank these Zachs: Gallon, Efron, Morris, Ifeu. I don't, I don't know. I see that last one. What is that last? I one? don't know. Who's the Feu, Phil? Wait. Drexel's coach. I, that's not what I wrote down. That's what you, he said. Yeah, that's what you sent. I know, it's a spelling error. When I Googled it, nothing came up. All right, so let's oh, keep it. Do Gal and Efron Morris. <laughs> All right, so Efron's a stoolie, but I haven't met him. So he's last. I didn't even notice that. Morris is, all right, Morris is the man, but he is fictional. Zach Gallon's going for a title. He's a rider. Met him. Gallon. I don't think this has ever been done in my life. Gallon. Morris. Oh. They like Zach Eady. All right, ready? Yeah. Because this is how much I go to bat for my guys, because apparently you guys think I fucking cast you off. So just as a sign of respect, my guys, I'm going to go. Gallon, Eady, Morris, Efron. Never been done before. Zach Morris, third on the list. Never been done before. That's how much I go to bat for my guys. That was solid. Would you rather have the hiccups for the rest of your life every day or an amputated limb? I am very famous for saying that every time I have the hiccups, I'd rather have uh, a really bad disease. My mom gets mad. I, I have said maybe something Magic Johnson had once in a while. Oh my God. She gets real. She said, don't do that. Uh, so I'll take the amputated limb because hiccups are the worst. All right. Would you rather be forced to go to DJs every weekend for the rest of your life or only allowed to go once every five years? As a 36-year-old, it's very easy, like once every five years, but I think I would even decline that now. I'm so old, I can't go. We are going once next year, but I don't think I have it in me. I just don't have it in me. Would you rather drink every beverage through a sour straw or a funnel for the rest of your life? Sour straw. Great. Sour straw. But funnel, you got to think about, like, then you're chugging everything, every beverage. So if you got to take, like, Dimetap or some shit, you're like, or cough medicine, you like funneling it? No thanks. Only thing uh, a sour straw would kind of ruin the taste of like every single drink that's not supposed to be sour. Yeah, but you can make it work. Uh, maybe suck all the the stuff off like a kid. How you used to do that, Ooh, and then just make it a make it a straw. Um, all right. Uh, final thoughts. I'll give you a final thought. I'll give you a final thought. We're going to have the Halloween show coming up, but I'll, I'll give you a little tip now because it's Halloween weekend, okay? If you're a single guy, if you're out there dancing and romancing, do not wear a mask. It's only a waste of time. You're showing up. If you think if the moneymaker is the face, don't block the face. You want to talk to the girls. You want to maybe kiss the girls. Don't wear a mask. Why would you know, wear a fucking scream mask and you're only blocking your thing? Wear a costume that goes with it or just get a, a onesie like with the thing over your head. That's cute. That works. But when you wear, you know, like the all black or you need your costume doesn't tell it. And you need the mask. Don't block the face. You're only hurting yourself on Halloween weekend. That's my take. I'm here to help the guys. Uh, great show. I know everybody, you know, we, the, the room is turning on me. Another win. Can we get a poll? We have yesterday's poll or did Phil blow the streak? We didn't. Uh, I don't think we did a poll for Phil yesterday. All right, I think we're sitting on like twenty-five and zero. We are twenty-five and zero. Uh, if it's just you, guys. twenty-five and zero. Twenty-five and zero uh, is where we're sitting. So we dunked on Max. We took the win. World Series coming up. Lot to get to. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Everybody loves a healthy debate.